carefully this microphone works. Hello everyone, in the spirit of Halloween, today we're going to be making some Halloween Oreo spiders. We have some M&Ms, of course Halloween Oreos, my favorite, and of course M&Ms. I love M&Ms. And black licorice. These are going to uh, represent the spider's legs. Uh, I know that most of you do not like black licorice, but this is the closest we're gonna get, okay? I really like this Halloween treat because my family makes this on Halloween. So I'm gonna show you how to make it. Okay, uh, I forgot to mention, we also have chocolate frosting. This is gonna be key to make sure the M&Ms stick to the Oreos. Okay, now. Let's open the Oreos. This is so satisfying. Ooh. Wait a minute. Am I tripping? There's some missing. There's a gap here. There's some missing. Did I just get scammed, guys? Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see that, but usually they fill it up to the very top, don't they? What? All right. Okay. Now, the key is to grab an Oreo. <sighs> Open the Oreo. And I did it perfectly on the first try. You wanna make sure you have cream and yeah. We're just gonna be putting the Oreo eventually back together, so. I, I probably should, be, should have done this part first, but who, who knows. Alright. Our licorice. We don't need this to be this long. So, yeah, we're gonna, I guess, put this back together and put it off to the side while we cut this. So, we need how many legs does a spider have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. No, they have eight legs. They have eight legs, not six. I don't, don't, okay. All right. Cut it in half. And I think we might need multiple uh, licorice on this one. Cut that in half. All right. It doesn't have to be perfect, but they should be roughly around the same size. So let's see. This one's a little bit long. Let's cut this one down. And this is excess. Um, no, no. So good. That's only for uh, one leg or one side. Now we have to do it again. I'm just gonna, um, I mean, you, you get the idea here. I honestly don't understand why so many people don't like black licorice. It's just, okay. Now, we have eight legs here and we have our Oreo. Okay. Take your licorice. These might be a little big. I mean, if you can find thin ones, that would be perfect. But this is what I have here. Okay. Oreo. One. So you're basically, you're just gonna place it inside the Oreo. That's one, two, three. Oh, I hope we have enough room. This three and four. Just repeat the, hey. Just repeat the same thing on the other side, okay? One, two. Maybe you should put this down on the ground. Three. One more. How do I? It's all about key of positioning them correctly to make sure they all fit. All right. 
Now, as you can see here, we have all eight legs on. Uh, this is super fragile. Put it on top, the other half of the Oreo. You can come. Eh. All right, we lost two legs. We lost two legs, guys. Kinda gotta move it around here. Stay in there. Maybe I'm, I could use the frosting to make it stay, but nah. This is what the frosting is for, guys. Ah, oh, yes. You, you can use white frosting if you prefer that better, but today we're gonna be using chocolate frosting because the it's, it's a dark color, which also blends in with the dark color of the Oreo cookie, if you see what I mean. It kind of blends in. So, so we don't see it as much. Now, what am I doing here? Make sure I'm opening this right. Uh, here's the nib. Oh. I love M&Ms. Oh, why did I just close that? I need it. Okay. Now, you can use a spoon if you like, if it's easier for, um, like, spreading. But I think a knife would work for this because it's just a little dab. It's just a little dab. So we're going to take a dab of frosting. Careful. Don't want it to break again. And just dab it on. You literally don't need that much. Dab it on where you think the eyes, where you want the eyes to be. Just kind of eyeballing it here. No pun intended. All right. It, you can do any color M&M you want. We're just gonna put one there and one here. Okay, so what we have done with the M&Ms is flip them around so you can't see the M on the uh, M&M, and eh. yeah, it's falling apart, but don't worry. All right, guys, this is how you make a Halloween Oreo spider. Let's taste it. It's just gonna take like, it's just gonna taste like sweets. It's just a whole bunch of sugar Compact it, compact. All right. Oh. Mm. Mm. Guys, that just brings me back. That is pretty awesome. Tastes really good. Now, we're gonna clean this up and make a bunch more. So, yeah. That is how you make a Halloween Oreo spider. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to click subscribe to learn how to make more treats, baking stuff, and cooking stuff. So, I can't wait to see you in another video. Bye!